what's up what's up you guys how y'all doing out there come on in come on in here come on in here to Burnett Perkins YouTube channel let me turn this TV down because I just want to talk a little briefly just a little brief just real small okay y'all I'm watching a movie um what is movie on I don't care completely out of it I think it was on what's what is it Pluto Pluto Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I think I don't came out the whole entire movie. And I don't even know the name of it. I was trying to go back to it. Nope, that's not it. Yep. I got to go back and find it. So anyway. <clears throat> come on in here. Come on in here. Let's get ready to get into this. Okay, let me get a little sip of this. Oh boy, when you under the weather, you is under the weather, baby. This little flu, bug, whatever, virus, don't care. It don't care, right? Now, some of you looking over here. I am so thinking about, I do it next time, I do it next time. But anyway, y'all, what I come out here to talk about um, is Shaquille responding, replying back to Monique. Something Monique said. I'm going to go back and look it up, but I'm just going to speak very small of it, not too much of it, because I seen it on this phone I'm on, and I decided to record on it as well. It might, I might I have my other phone, y'all. I'm going to come out of this one here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. I'm going to be looking over here when I need to look over here. I found it. I found it. I found it. So Shakira respond to Monique Club Shay Shay, you know where um she was on <clears throat> Club Shay Shay, right? Uh, do you open up to men? Mm, very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, it's something that this person that I am reacting on. I went on here and thumb it up. I made three hundred and eighty. I'm not going to subscribe to the channel at all, but I did thumb it up. So, anyway, Shaquille made the statement that men should not open up to women. I'm I'm a type of person. I am that type of person. This My channel is uh, neutral, 50-50. I'm going to keep it 50-50. I don't care if nobody else, how they do their channel. Whether it's 50 50, whatever, whatever, right? Me personal, it's a 50 50 thing for me, right? So, anyway, 50%, I agree with him. A man should not open up to a woman. Just a little bit, not too much. Don't give a woman too much detail. And y'all might get mad with me, it's fine. We can we can go back and forth. We can dispute. We you know, but we don't have to be ugly. We don't have to be ugly with one another, and that's one thing that we're not gonna do over here on my channel is be ugly and disrespectful to each other. Y'all, I don't want to throw it on me a little quick. We do this do this reaction, but we don't have to be ugly to one another. It's not it's not necessary. Not on because my channel is is an adult channel. Um, you know I'm in my fifty plus, and I don't have time to entertain children, teenagers. So basically, this is this conversation is gonna go over a lot of y'all teenagers' head, okay? Because y'all don't understand right at this moment. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't even comment. Don't even thumb it up. Just link off of it, okay? Because this is not for you. This is for the adults. Now, anyway, no. No, 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 no. I would not. If I was a man, me being a woman, if I was a man, I would tell my lady friend, my fiance, um, my wife, <clears throat> If it's my girlfriend, hell no, okay? No, the answer's no, okay? If it's my fiance, the answer's still no, okay? Mm -mm. 
No. My wife. Yeah. But being that that's my girlfriend, I'm going to step back a little bit. Being that that's my girlfriend, the answer is no. She don't need to know all everything about me, my personal my personal business. Because who's to say that we're going to be we're going to continue on to go together. We're going to continue on to be dating. You feel where I'm coming from? And not only that, by her being my fiance, I need to go grab, grab my microphone. I left my mic in Georgia. Being that that's my fiance, I would gradually tell her small things. I wouldn't tell her a lot about me because she's just my fiance. Not she's not grandfather over. Is it grandfather? Should I say grandfather? She's not. She haven't made it to the wifey material yet. She's just a fiance. And fiance can last four to five years. Ten years. You know. But no. Mm -mm. Men do not tell women your business. The same way women stop being vulnerable and tell men your damn business. Okay. Stop it. Don't rush into it. Don't 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 be don't don't get ahead of yourself. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Shaquille is right. No, do not tell your business. And the reason why I say this, don't tell you all your business so quick and so fast, because chances are, and it's gonna happen. I don't care what nobody out there say. Chances are it's gonna happen. That it's gonna get thrown up in your face. Uh, when it comes when it, when it, when it, when it comes to an argument, you're going to get into some altercation here and there. And when you get into some altercation, the chances are, yeah, they're going to use it against you. <laughs> it's going to be thrown up in your face. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This and oh, yeah, that and this, that. Y'all, hold on just a second. It's going to get thrown up. You could guarantee that. Don't sit up here. Don't don't come. Don't do not come over here on my platform and fake and be and, and, and pretend like it don't happen. Oh, it will not happen. In this day and time, this lifestyle now, and and then soon you open up to a man and tell him your dark secrets. They look at you different. I don't care if he love you. I don't care if you love him. She still ain't when it made the payment. They going to look at you different. No if ands or buts about it. So let me see. Let me try to play a little of this clip here. Let me try to play a little of this clip here. See what see what was said. I got an ad coming up. I did throw up this video, you guys. Let me see. Within the media, where every talk show was talking about, you know, Shaq's specific comments, and Monique uh, was recently on Club Shay Shay, and her and Shaq are good friends. And this is what Monique actually had to say. You heard what Shaq said, Shaq said, say. They asked Shaq, should a man open up to a woman? Shaq said no. He says, because if you do, they're going to use it against you. He mm -hmm. said, because if I break, if I'm crying about something, they're going to say the first time they get mad, they're going to say, see you crying because your daddy said what he said. How do you take advice from a man who has no woman? And I love Shaq. But how do you take advice from my brother that has no one? Okay. If you have that person in your life and you say, listen, I'm dealing, I'm going through, who else do you talk to at nighttime in your pillow talk? Who else do you share your life with? Who are you sharing with your life with, Shaq? Do you tell another man about your situation? And does he make you feel better? Like, who do you share your life with? So I don't agree with that. Now, recently, Shaq went back on his podcast and the subject came up about Monique's comments towards him, and this is what uh, Shaq actually had to say. I love my brother Shaq, but who do you open up to? So she she did disagree with me. 
your ass shit, my beautiful sister. And I love you too, my lady. First of all, let me address this. We can have respectful disagreements without getting personal. And I would never get personal with Miss Monet. I'll never get personal with a woman. On uh, on social media. I love Monet. She knows I love her. But I'm going to address her questions. She used the word pull up to her. I don't pull up to her. No she used the word, uh, she has to have a woman. Really, Monique? Monique. Really? But who do I open up to? Nobody. And let me tell you why. Because my remedy to success is I have sayings. Like, for example, on the way over here, I saw seven homeless people, bro. I'm not a complainer. I feel here private. I got my whole crew with me. We got a million dollar suite. So in other words, before I start getting outside, I said, shut the fuck, man up, and figure it out. So therefore, all the problems that I have, I have to define if they're really problems. And they're not. There's people with far worse problems than I got. And I feel for those people. So I don't can complain. Because, again, I was raised by a drill sergeant, and I'm glad he raised me the way he raised me. So to answer my beautiful sister's belief, when I have problems, I have to define if they're real problems. And most of the time, they're not. He said something about me. <laughs> he said something about me. <laughs> no, I'm not that guy. I'm here. Yeah. And, and, and the reason why I'm here because so many people depend on me. Now, for my take on this, this is uh, pretty... Okay. Okay. I agree with Shay. A little bit. But I, I, I'm going to say this. When Monique said that when it comes to him having a pillow talk, a friend, and he said, really, Monique? Really, Monique? I want to say Monique know that that man have a lady friend but then again she don't know we don't know right but we can say he do because that's Shaq because of the money we can say he have a lady friend then we can say he don't have a lady friend right right but um if he do he do if he don't he don't okay but my thing is I feel like if he needs to go and vent to someone, it would be his mother. His mother is still here on earth. So he could call her and vent to her and tell her. He can't call Shanti no more because we all know Shanti is married. Bless her and her husband. But he could always call his mom. His mother know his inside and his outside. She know his do's and his don't, his will and his and his won't. Miss Shakia knows. But vent to another woman or vent to a man, it's a no-go for me. And I have learned that over the years. Going and getting, you know, being in a relationship or stepping into a relationship not to be open and honest and and now these days people are looking for you to be open and honest well be open and honest with me tell me a little bit about yourself learn me as we do this together as we in this relationship together learn me don't 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 learn me on my past because now you asking me a little bit of myself about my past y'all trying to keep them coughing now you want me to bring up my past to you when you need to be trying to learn my future for now. See, that's one thing that when I do decide to step into the dating game, I'm not going to get into that. When they say, tell me a little bit about you, I'm just going to be open and honest and tell them, hey, learn me as we go along. I don't want to talk about my job. I don't want to talk about my credit score. I don't want to talk about being married, my children, my grandkids, my family. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about what's going on for that day until the next day and the next day. I'm talk I want to talk about my future. 
I can tell you what I want to do and what I don't want to do. I can tell you what I like and what I don't like, what I tolerate, what I don't tolerate. But me digging up my past that happened two weeks ago or, or two years ago or three years ago, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen, y'all. So, let you know, you have to be very careful. And not only that, I'm not going to sit up and say that uh, dating is out the game. People meet every day. Every day. People meet every day. No matter what age they are. No matter what gender they are. People meet every day. Is someone out there in the universe for somebody. It don't matter what the situation may be. It is up to that person to willing and want to get up and get out there and try again. Y'all make sure y'all thumb up this video for me. I really, really appreciate it. Thumb it up, thumb it up. You know, th I need the thumbs up. I need the views. But dating is something serious, especially with, you know, the, with the celebrities, the superstars, no matter, you know, no matter what sports it is, uh, actors, actress, if they, if they have loop, when I say loop, I'm talking about money. If they got money and they live in these fancy houses, drive fancy cars, eat good, you know, eat good, go to these big events that, that be going on. They have to be very, very careful of um, who they start to date. Have y'all ever known, have y'all ever, ever known a, a, a famous person to deal with someone that's non-famous? No. If you, if, you, if you have, let me know. If they don't, <laughs> how can I put it? If they don't, if they haven't started out kicking it before they became who they are, my camera keep going in and out. If, if, if they haven't been with them from the butter, from the dog, when they didn't have nothing to where they do have something, you, they, you done. It got to be someone that don't date someone else that was famous once before. Ain't no famous person going to go out there in the street and meet another person that they see that's uh, uh, on Instagram, in my opinion. If it is, y'all drop it in the comments and correct me. I can stand to be corrected. But if, like myself, I'm nobody famous. I'm related to a person that, that that's famous. But I'm not famous just because he's famous. Shit, that don't make Burnett famous. You feel where I'm coming from? So, that don't mean that I'm going to meet somebody. And it could be now. But anyway, huh, and chances of that, that I'm going to say, oh, that because they know I'm, I'm related to a famous NFL player. He, he played football, right? And don't mean that, oh, okay. Her uncle's somebody famous. I can date her. I ain't got no money. Zero. Nothing. So the chances are, no, they wouldn't date me. Uh -uh. They're not going to date. They Famous people not going to date non-famous people because of their personality. And like I said, drop y'all comments and correct me now. Correct me. Be like, Burnett, uh-uh. I don't think so. You're wrong. The ch you, everybody can stand a chance. But what are y'all thoughts? What do y'all think about that? Is it is a possibility of meeting someone and y'all start dating? They got all this money. And they start to, you, you're attracted. That you, I mean, they are they are attracted to you, right? Y'all get hot over here. They are attracted to you, and they want to start kicking it with you. But even though you ain't got nothing, and 
I'm going to end this video with this here. If the relationship start building up and the trust starts building up as well, and, 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 and the famous and the non and the non famous person get married. I'm gonna leave it at this here. Do y'all think they'll make them sign a petition? Not a petition. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my goodness, what is the word? Y'all know what I'm saying. Not a petition. I'm so sorry. Petition is when you're trying to get rid of somebody. Um, oh, is at the tip of my head, it's the tip of my tongue. Y'all. Is at the tip of my tongue. Prenup. Do y'all think that the person with the most money gonna have the person with no money to sign a prenup? So when 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 they decide that they gonna get a divorce, the person with no money leave. But you know he he or she gonna get all the fame and the glory while they married, right? Y'all follow me. But if we decide to get a divorce, you're going to leave with what you came with. And that's nothing. I know I get that word out. Free enough. Yes. And a lot of celebrities choose not to get married because they don't want to deal with, have to uh, uh, go through a divorce. You know? But I'm going to get out of here. I want to say live, love, laugh, laugh, love, live, peace, love, and happiness to you, you, and you. And thumb up this video, you know, um, drop your comments, but please be respectful. That's, that's my motto. That's one of my pet peeves on this YouTube uh, platform is to be respectful, you know. Um, it's different on my rears. You got people, you know, a little disrespectful. And... The good thing about that is on my rears, I can hide the user, the user. I can remove, I don't even have to read their comments. I can remove them or I can hide them. I can mute them. That's the good thing about it. That's the good thing. So anyway, I, I do what I have to do. I don't try. I don't try to block nobody, you know. But being disrespectful, it won't get you blocked. It'll just get you muted, where you won't be able to comment at all. So y'all take care of yourself and uh, stay warm in your area where you where up where wherever you at your location i don't know here in florida it's a little warm but back in georgia it's really cold and i'm glad to be back in florida i miss home i miss my family but i'm glad to be back where it's warm it so i can get better okay so i'm out of here you guys have a good one